you're not gonna make it period. I don't know what you're gonna do. You're being recycled to day zero. You need a mother miracle. It's me again, Mariah Perry, and I'm back again with another ARMY video. I want to make this quick. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this one. If you don't already know, I am in the Army Reserves. I have been in for one year. I have five years left to go, girl or guy, man or woman. <laughs> and I am a fewer. I'm a 92 Fox and I went to basic combat training in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Now, did you know that you can get recycled in basic training? And when I say recycled, I mean you have been through the shark attack, you've made it past red phase, you've made it past white phase, and all of a sudden you're being recycled all the way to day zero, which means shark attack all over again. If you didn't know that, yes, it is possible. And I'm gonna inform you on some ways that you could possibly get recycled while you are in basic training. Now, the two most important things in basic training are PT and rifle marksmanship. So my drill sergeant would always stress, I only care about two things, PT and qualifying on your weapon. That's all he really cared about. He wasn't really the type to yell. He didn't do all that nonsense, run upstairs and back down in 60 seconds. All he cared about was the PT and passing your PT test and qualifying on your weapon. So the first thing is pass your PT test. When I first got to basic, I did not know how to do push-ups, but I learned real quick after I heard that I could get recycled. Cause listen, I could not imagine doing basic training all over again. Not me. No ma'am, no him, okay? So I made sure that I was able to pass my push-ups, pass my sit-ups, pass my two mile run. Y'all, when I did the first one, 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 which is the one mile, the one minute push-ups and the one minute sit-ups, I did not do good at all, okay? At all. My one mile run was like 18 minutes. And you need, to, for me, I needed to run two miles in 18 minutes and 56 seconds. So do the math, okay? I was not good at PT. Before basic training, I knew that I was not fit but I still just sat around and did nothing. So if you're watching this video, please, please. Did you accidentally summon? Please, please, please start working out now so your body can get used to the physical activity because you're up moving every day and working out all the time, okay? Another thing is if you do not qualify in your weapon, you can get recycled as well. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the fundamentals. The fundamentals! The fundamentals! I remember when I first went to go zero on my weapon, which means kind of like calibrating your weapon, I did not do good. Like I was shooting all over the place. And they were saying that I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna make it. They were like, you're not gonna make it, Perry. I don't know what you're gonna do. You need a mother miracle, Perry. You need a mother miracle. I just, oh my gosh, it was terrible, y'all. I was not playing with those people. So every night, our drill sergeant would give, give us sandbags to practice in the barracks. So every night before I went to bed, I would grab my weapon and I would lay on that cold tile floor and I would practice my um fundamentals okay so learn your fundamentals because those things help your fundamentals your fundamentals don't forget i'm telling you right now your fundamentals number three is ruck marches and basic training we had a total of how many ruck marches did we do we did the 4k the 10k the 12k and the 16k and for my battery, I think all they really cared about was the 16K because a lot of people, they would fake injuries or they would be injured and wouldn't be able to do the ruck marches. Like some people in my battery only did one ruck march, which, which was a 16K and you had to pass that and not fall out in order to um, graduate. So pass your ruck marches, people. When you're doing the ruck march, make sure that your stuff is packed the right way. Don't just pack your bag up the wrong way because that can really injure your back. And do not run. Do not run while 
do not run during work marches okay some girl broke her pelvis and that means that when you get injured in basic you have to wait for your injury to heal and then you have to start basic all over again okay you are not being sent home because you get injured you sign a contract and you're gonna get healed in basic and then you're gonna start basic all over again from day zero so that's another thing don't get injured do not get injured see these people would play around i know the drill sergeants they'd be like you got 60 seconds to get upstairs run upstairs grab a bag. listen i'm taking it easy i'm gonna run up those stairs but i'm not about to sit here and try to hurt myself and trip and fall down the stairs people getting on crutches breaking knees mm -mm, mm -mm. i'm gonna just have to get yelled at because i'm not getting injured okay take it easy don't let those people scare you don't let your battle buddies tell you to hurry up hurry up if you feel like you about to hurt something and you know what you're doing is right go with your instinct okay do not hurt yourself take it easy take it easy fraternization you can get recycled for fraternizing with your battle buddies okay no flirting no touching no none of that and that's all I'm going to say. Okay? Sharp is real. Sexual harassment is real. None of that stuff. Mm-mm. 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 If your battle buddy feels like you're sexually harassing them and they go to tell your drill sergeant and they get some evidence to see, your ASS is grass. And they're going to mow it. You're going to mow yourself to a different battery on day zero. Number six, contraband. If you get caught with things that you're not supposed to have while in basic like candy gum having kool-aid in your canteens basically not following directions if you are getting sent like getting caught selling things in the barracks i mean people did it like people would sneak up rice cr rice People will sneak Rice Krispie treats up in the barracks. I mean, you can do it to make your little change or whatever, but don't get caught. Because those council statements start to rack up and they won't tell you about it. Next thing you know, you're getting that council statement that says you're being recycled to day zero. Period. And that's that on that. So watch it. If you do not do your fire guard and you know people don't like you, or I should say, not even people that don't like you. If you are just that one person that, if you're that one person that doesn't get along with someone, or should I say majority of the company, people are going to snitch on you. It's It happened to this one girl that went to my... It happened to this one girl that was in my company. I love her to death because she was actually such a sweet person. But she did not follow the rules, y'all. And she got recycled the last week of basic training. She kept racking up on council statements. She did not do her fire guard. And I think that was the last straw, not doing her fire guard. And I just remember we were literally getting ready. Didn't have to hang up like that. Okay, we were literally getting our dress blues, our AC, what are they called? We were getting our dress uniforms together. And I remember the drill sergeant coming in and they were standing at the front of the barracks and she was literally pleading, praying for another chance. But that was it. That's all she could get, bro. That was it, bro. That was it. That was it. Getting recycled in basic training is a real thing. You can get recycled all the way to day zero. So watch yourself. Do what you're supposed to do. Take things seriously. Don't be a quitter. Quitting isn't going to help with anything. Telling yourself that you can't do it isn't going to help. Yes, basic training is tough physically and mentally. But you just got to roll with the punches. You sign the contract. They're going to keep telling you. They're going to be like, I already did my basic training. I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. And I mean, they're right. Now it's your turn. Run those two miles. If you know you're not fit, go ahead and start working out early. Start pushing out those push-ups early. Don't be like me. Don't wait to the last minute. Because I was struggling. But my drill sergeant got on me. She helped me to understand that. 
if I did not do my push-ups correctly. Listen, doing fake push-ups ain't gonna help. It ain't gonna help. So learn how to do push-ups. There's a whole technique, and I've been meaning to do a video. I'm gonna do a video one of these days, okay? Y'all just gotta give me a chance, work with me. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to do this quick little video because I thought it would be very informative and help you guys out. If you are getting ready to go to basic, go ahead and let us know when you're leaving down in the comments down below. I wish you guys the best of luck and I'll see you guys in my next video.